Okay, here's an image where the photographer was sh shooting uh, some photographs indoors and had his white balance set for indoor lighting and then went outdoors and <laughs> he forgot to set the uh, white balance for outdoor lighting. So, uh, what do we do in this case? Well, it's a very simple uh, fix and I'm going to show you how to do it. If you look at the, uh, the, uh, the water area of this little pond here, it looks a little bluish. Uh, so, it, it, the rest of the image is not color cast, so it's not a real. It's just we need to find the white balance. Uh, so what I'm going to do is create a layer above this, and I'm going to fill this with 50% gray. And the way I do that is hold down the shift key and hit the backspace, and that get, brings up this dialog box. Mine's already set for 50% gray. If yours is not, go ahead and do that and, and click OK. Next thing you need to do is go up to the blending dogs and let's go with difference in this one okay now we need to go create an adjustment layer for thresholds and we're going to move this slider all the way over to the left until the whole image turns white now as I begin to bring this slider back that should tell me where just about where uh, some of the neutral gray areas are in this image now I'm going to choose this area here because because that's the lake area and that looks that was more of a problem area than any place else. So I'll go ahead and click here, holding down my shift key. I click with this eyedropper to make a mark right there and click cancel because I don't need that anymore. And I don't also don't need this gray uh, layer anymore anyway. So I'm going to bring up the curves dialog box, and there's our little uh, crosshair marker telling us somewhere in here, more likely right on this marker is the 50% gray. So I'm going to go ahead and choose the middle eyedropper, and click here, and click OK. Move the layer box out of here. OK. So, this is what we began with, and that's what we ended up with. But you know what? Let me take this one step further. Let me uh, go into the Curves dialog box again and just make a suggestion to the photographer that he bring up the, the midtones in this image just slightly right here. Just slightly. And, okay. So, we began with this, ended up with that, and uh, I don't know. Maybe the next time, uh, if you remember to set your white balance, you don't have to go through this anymore.